Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create a basic surface chart. Now these, this is a surface chart and it looks like a topographical map. So it's similar to one of those maps that you see on the web pages when you're trying to look at locations and it, uh, it, it kind of just shows you the elevation of uh, data. Now it's useful when you want to find uh, what is kind of like the most notable or favorable or even an optimal combination between two sets of data. So in this example, maybe we're looking at menu items uh, between buildings and see which one gets the most uh, purchases. Um, preferably, you probably want to look at two categorical sets because the spacings between the uh, items, the, ver the, the series of data that are on the x-axis, which is this horizontal axis, and the z-axis here are spaced evenly. So if you're trying to do numerical data and you don't have them spaced in evenly, you're not going to get the right type of representation of your chart. So the color patterns here, they show the data that is within a range of values. So you see in this example, there's 0 to 50, 50 to 100, 100 to 150, 150 to 200. And that just shows you a range and Excel automatically creates that range for you. So it's actually fairly easy to create this chart. It's not really easy to read. Uh, but if you are tasked to do something like this, it's not that bad to create it. So I'm just going to take the data here. Uh, actually, I'll just create new data and just kind of show you how this is done from scratch. So let's just take uh, this. I'll delete the rest of the values there. Open a new sheet here. And I'll just paste values. And let's pretend these are different data points. I'm going to have them just created automatically between 99 and uh, 199. Close parentheses, control shift enter. This will enter this formula into all the cells, control enter. And now you have this particular uh, ran between function. It's just going to automatically generate some random, random values. So if I press the F9 key or the delete key, it's going to change a couple of times. So to create this, all you need to do is select within the data so I can select anywhere within my range of data. Excel is probably going to be smart enough to figure out where the data boundaries are. Go to Insert, and under the Charts group, under this item here, we have Waterfall Funnel, and we have our Surface Charts. There's, there's different ones. There's this 3D chart surface. There's this wireframe 3D surface. There's this uh, contour, which is a top-down view. And there is a wireframe contour. I think the, probably the more useful ones is the first to the third one. I don't really see this as that useful. Um, but let's take a look at it after we create our 3D chart here. So we have our 3D surface chart. And expand this out a little bit. You can see it has created our some four ranges. Looking at this data, it's created four ranges of data. So from this area, you can see there's not too much change. right? There's no indication that there's some kind of a more notable um, cross-section of which menu item uh, gets purchased the most in which building. If I decide to change here something, let's let's change this to maybe 399. So the function is going to give us a bigger range. Press return, enter, and if I press the F9 key a couple of times, you'll notice that we will probably see an area. That, let's see that that blue area showed up. You can see, probably see an area here now that it showed a lot. So we can see that the building three and menu three. This item up here seems to be more notable. It doesn't really give you that good of a view from this angle. So if we decide to change our chart, let's click our chart and go under Design, Change Chart Type, and make it the contour, the top town view, you probably get a better view of it. So we see that right here with Building 3, Menu Item 2, that particular item seems the most notable. If I press the F9 key a couple more times, you can see that it was probably in this instance, it's disappeared. There's not really any noticeable uh, cross-section or optimal uh, combination of my categories. I press F9 a couple more times, you'll see it's more notable there. So that's the way that you can create a, a surface chart. Ideally, you probably want to find some other charts to kind of show this data, maybe a bar chart or a column chart. But if you are tasked to do a surface chart or you just kind of want to show something fancy, then this is an example of what you can do to create that chart. You can either use 
the 3D chart in itself, 3D surface chart, or the, the contour part. The wireframe also is kind of similar. It gives you the wireframe of the 3D, but I didn't really find that that, that useful either or, or that visually stimulating. But if you had to create something like this, a surface chart, that's the way you do it. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.